Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is my second or third, third or fourth video. Um, yeah, I've done a peachy, smoky, no, no smoke, no smoke, no smoke. Peachy daytime look. Um, if you want to stick around and have a look at how I did it, please do. Thank you very much. Um, again, the comments have been amazing. <clears throat> um, I just still, I can't explain, I'm blown away by the, the the feedback from you guys, it's amazing. I can't believe there's so many of you subscribed to my channel, you're all loonies, just like me. But thank you very much anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there's an eyebrow tutorial coming up as well, um, and I've tried to keep this a day look, um, um, and as natural as I possibly can be without looking like a complete loon. Um, I'm going to put a warning up now. The next minute you'll see me, I'll have no makeup on, no brows, nothing. I'll look like a complete scary lady, but that's just who I am. And I'm not putting myself down. I'm completely realistic. I want everyone to see that when we all take our makeup off, that we don't look like we are. Mm, that we don't look how we look when we've got makeup on. And I'm all about that. So, um, yeah, please don't think I'm, I'm putting myself down. I am just very real in all areas of my life so thank you for joining me and don't forget to subscribe and like and here we go okay so I have just I don't use primer um, I moisturize my face with this it's listed down below it's just from Boots it's Korean skincare moisturizer I don't use um, a base or anything like that so Let's put some makeup on on uh, do this. Um, I for my foundation I've used loads. Um, I use Estee Lauder Double Wear Light um, in Fawn. Um, at the moment I'm really enjoying this uh, L'Oreal True Match um, in 4N. For some reason I don't know it just it's a really good match for my skin. Um, I squirt not a whole pump. At three quarters of a pump and I waste a lot of it as well um, I put it onto the desk in front of me and I put my finger in it let's just move my hair out of the way and I dab it around my face put a little bit up there and we see how it goes this is a real technique real techniques brush it's again listed down below and I literally just Splosh it all over. Don't, um, I tried to practice this in the wig to see what it looked like, and there's really, I can't find a glamorous way of doing this, so I'm just going to do what I normally do and wipe it all over my face. Um, obviously, I've got very, very deep textured pores, or oh, deep pores. Um, typically, makeup does not like to sit on my nose. Um, I found this one quite good actually. Um, but when you get, when I do a close up in, I'm sorry, just wiping the brush on the table. Um, when you get a close up, I'll show you. Um, my skin's not in a great way at the moment. It never is at the weekend. Something to do with alcohol getting inside me. Don't know how that happens. So, there we go. Um, I have this really weird area. I don't know if you can see. In the centre of my. Um, Eyebrows, it's just very, very pory. It's probably not the right word, is it? And it never really takes the makeup very well, but you know, we work with that. And I, t I turn the brush around and literally push quite hard in the pores. Let me show you. Let's just bare all, shall we? I've got quite a lot of pores on the side of my nose, but I think that's quite normal for people my age. Let's take it back out again. Um, I've got a very, very oily skin. I tend to be quite dry around this area, but my skin is really oily. After you know a couple of hours, I start to get a sheen come through, so I'm very careful and <sighs> wish I could put more powder on, but it just tends to clump up, so I'm not doing so great on that. That's the foundation done. Now, I don't use concealer. Controversially, where are we? I'm enjoying this. I don't know if you can see it. 
bourgeois healthy mix this is really it's really light um, and I found the concealers that, that I've bought and I've got loads you know I've got this one I've got loads of other had tushy clap you know all all of the amazing concealers but they just they just they're too heavy and I don't use too much I don't want to use a lot um, I've got I haven't got a lot of darkness under my eyes um, but I have got um, wrinkles you know and I think the, the more stuff I put on my wrinkles the more pronounced they are so I'm just using something like and this isn't like super light compared to you know I watch youtubers and they're like you know they've got this amazing stuff going on and then they put this almost white concealer underneath which you know I've done it but I look like a lunatic when I've done it so I'm literally taking just I'm just dipping my finger in it and then wiping it off again and I'm putting that in the corners of both my eyes because my eyes are deep set and I've got a little blueness there so and I use my finger you know I've got loads of brushes again the, the warmth from your finger really 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 makes a difference and it helps blend it in and I you know I'm I've got, I haven't like I said I haven't got a lot of darkness to cover up um, I've got bags under my eyes which catch the light a lot but I, and I haven't mastered um, how to deal with those because obviously you know when you look down they pretty much go but when you look up or maybe it's the other way around I can't see but yeah so that's that's all I do you know pat it in I think I can't see a line in between you may see it otherwise and then I use this filthy dirty Hakahodo brush listed below I just pick up some of this Maybelline fit me powder and I'll just literally dab it underneath um, I think I've gone a bit heavy on <laughs> typical isn't it this is not going to go right today I just do that and then I wipe kind of like wipe it away because I don't want it to stay there and I go on the in, inner of my eye again and that's pretty much it now that will sink in, in in a little while it won't look as so so um, wrinkly now with regards to powdering my where's my flannel <laughs> with regards to powdering my face I I've gone through different stages of doing that as well and I'm finding at the moment um, the best thing to do is I just my t-zone is like super oily here is awful um, my cheeks aren't too bad but this area here gets so shiny so quickly and again all around my mouth and on my chin so I'm I use this uh, filthy dirty this is great, um, it's like a HD, it's a HD powder, unfortunately from the UK you have to buy it on Amazon or something because, I, well there's other places you can get it but I got mine from America and I'm still working my way through it. So very very lightly, um, this actually does make my pores look smaller which is incredible and I'm using the smallest, smallest amount just because I'm going to put blush and, what's it called, bronzer. <laughs> And um, I'm going to do a little bit of contour. So I, I don't want the contour to stick to the oil on my skin. So I'm just putting the tiny, 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 tiniest amount. I, I will put more in this area here because this is, you know, it's like the chip fat grease ball of YouTube. There you go. I could have a competition who's got the greasiest face and that's going to be me probably. Anyway, so that's that. That's all. This is a Real Techniques blush, brush, what? Uh, listed down below. This is also a Real Techniques blush brush. It's a different colour because I'm daft. Um, this is the one that I used to put my bronze on. I'm not doing that now. I'm using this Real Techniques brush to use my concealer. This is um, woody. Come back, come back. This is quite quite soft. Excuse my phone. Quite soft. Um, and I use the Kevin Oak one. Oh come on! I should have got this by now. This is the sculpting powder. Now, I, do you know what? I wanted this for absolutely years. I think professionally, I should cover the mirror up because you do. <laughs> for some reason, people do that. Hello. Um, I wanted to buy this for years and years and years, and I think it's like thirty pounds. And I decided I, I wasn't worth it. And I used a, a Mac. Uh, oh no, it wasn't actually. It was a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. Um, which was probably perfectly fine and then I just decided, you know, I went to Selfridges one day in London and thought, do you know what, I'm going to buy it. Some woman, I was walking around the um, the makeup area in Selfridges, which is like, my God, another level. And um, 
yeah so sorry I wasn't looking at the lens <laughs> for the whole time and um, yeah I was in Selfridges and this woman literally just come up and plaster some on my face I'm like I've got to have it now haven't I so let's talk about contouring obviously my face is totally round um there's no getting away from it but uh I still I feel that contouring is absolutely brilliant and uh, I'm just gonna shut the curtain hold on a moment it might make a difference to the light. Um, I want to, I want you to see half. Oh, I've dazed myself. Half of my face with the contouring done, and half of it not done. I'm only going to contour my cheek. Um, I've got no cheek definition at all. Um, so I think that this helps. I have to be really careful with this because I've got in my car sometimes in the morning, and I thought, oh, it looks like someone's walloped me around the face with a plank of wood. So I have a really light touch. I've just dipped it in there one time and I'm going to go, I'm gonna go higher than a lot of people say to go, um, because when I start down here, it all kind of pulls my face down a little bit. I want to create a little bit of lift. So I'm literally going from my temple here, and I'm very light, very lightly. Um, I don't know if you've seen Robert Welsh's video, but he says if, when you move the brush, um, you catch, there's a catch in between them where the bristle stop stop moving um you get a, a a little kick but so i'm doing it really really lightly still dazed by that light i can't see anything <laughs> okay really 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 lightly and i'm hoping that you'll see what a difference it's made so i feel that there's more more definition and possibly sometimes i actually come down here and do this brianna Fox taught me this to come down and that kind of if you don't do too much of it, it makes you look like a skeletal <laughs> no one wants to look like a skeletal do they right again just dipping my in I'm going to tap it off and do the other <laughs> side of the door. so again from the temple literally from the temple really light lightly I go up a little bit into the, you know, literally as if as if you would with bronzer, but I'm just really, really gently moving it over, and I kind of stop when I get to the the corner of my eye because I don't want it to be too dark. I go a little bit harder here, so I don't know if you can see, but I I feel like it's given me some kind of definition here. Any kind of definition is a is a bonus. So yeah, that, I love that. I've just bought my second one. I think the other one lasted me about three years, so I'm really happy with that. Right, next, bronzer. So, uh, bronzer brush, drill techniques. Uh, here we go. <laughs> this stuff's brilliant. Physician's formula, butter bronzer, and it's in the shade called bronzer as well. Um, I really like this. Unfortunately, when it gets to this stage, very soon it will start to crack on the sides. I'll have to buy another one. I don't know what, why that happens. I feel really cheated because there's like another month's worth in there and I can't keep it. So, on the brush. And I am... Okay, where were we? I'm... I don't know if you can see, I'm literally really, really lightly. Um, I, I have to, I've had to learn this because I literally go ham and I'm just going round and round and round in circles. And you can see the contact that the brush is having on my face, it's very light. Um, just to show you, that's what one side looks like. And I lift up my hair and obviously, you know, I don't put tan on my face, but I, I actually really like, I never used to wear bronzer, but I do like bronzer now. So I'm just going, now this obviously depends on your face shape. Um, Brianna Fox has got a round face and she's done an amazing video. I will try and link it or something so you can see the technique. Um, I'm just gonna do one side and then I'm gonna do the other side in like speeded up motion or whatever. whatever. Um, you can have a look. I always, always do my chin. I've no idea why. And I did go down the side of my face here onto my earlobes. Some kind of weird ritual. Don't ask why again. Now, I obviously watch loads of videos about, you know, contouring your jawline, but that's no good for me. You know, I've got a blooming triple chin, double chin. So that's just going to create a brown line on my double chin. So, you know, I'll take it down here. For some reason, that those areas um, 
I'm gonna go along there and then I always always do my nose I love how this looks on my nose and I literally just tickle tickle my nose now also Christy has said about um, I'm gonna I'm pinching the brush now so I've got a bit of a, a flat area and I'm going to go from my nose like this because for me when you catch the Sun you catch the Sun across the bridge of your nose and I really like that look so you know it's not for everyone I think I think bronzer and blusher and contour are all things you're gonna have to play with because I still nowhere near perfecting it you know and I, I, I enjoy changing things up in fact sometimes I put freckles on my face I love that I will show you that one day soon that's really good I bought some special fake freckle dot stuff that was like a thousand pound for a bottle that's the size of donkey's milk <laughs> donkeys even have milk right okay so that's that's one side of my face bronzed um i can't really see from the viewfinder how different it looks um, i might just put a little bit more on it's very difficult it's very you know the lighting is so different when i'm i've got like a ring light over there and i've got two soft boxes here if that's what they're called and a little monitor from the camera there and a big monitor down there but the lighting is, and a, my i've got one of these special <coughs> mirrors um, from Simple Human. Um, yeah, so the lighting's different. So when I go outside, like I've said, my makeup does look quite different. Um, and I've recently started an Instagram page. So I'm putting like stories on there and reels and I'm putting things on and asking people, you know, showing photos of what I look like in the daylight as well. Cause I think that's so much, it's easier to see. Now, the reason that the things, people use these rings like ring lights is because you can see the colours so much more clear um, with, a, with with all of this lighting, otherwise everything would just look pretty similar and I think it's a have to. So anyway, I'm gonna do the rest of my bronzer. I'm not, I because I've got a round face, I, I don't think I'm supposed to go in the middle there, but I do, you know, like we will. And we all know that I'm a complete rule breaker. So um, I'm going on my earlobe again, over there. And I'm pinching, pinching the, the brush again, going just down the side of my nostril like that. It's actually really hot in this room as well, believe it or not. I'm in England, it's like been raining and sunny all day today, off and on, off and on, off and on. And um, I think it's a cute thing. Whoops, the daisy. Oh. Right, still hot, still hot. Makes me even hotter having to move around like that. So um, this is my blush palette. Now I bought this, God knows, I don't know, three or four years ago, BH Cosmetics. I think I got it from Amazon. It was like 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. It's amazing. It's got every single color under the sun and I absolutely love it. So um, I'm gonna do the peach natural look that I did yesterday i put some photos on instagram um i'm called just being underscore jewels on instagram please come and join me um so i'm going to put a peach you know like pinks are for pinks peaches for peaches browns are pretty much in between so i'm going to use like a peachy um highlight blusher today um and i'm going to dip it into a couple of peach colors because i've got about seven of them and see this is a smashbox brush um this was recommended by Tatty Tarty. And where she's gone, miss her. Um, yeah, so again, really, 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 and come on, light. I'm just barely touching my skin. I hope you can see how light I'm doing that. Um, I'm taking extra special care because normally when I'm doing it myself, I'm just like, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got to look better for you guys, haven't I? So, can you see? I feel like this again, this side is more uplifted. So um, again, I, I come down the side of my face um, and I bring my blusher up here because again, you know, it, 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 we're, create, we're trying to create the illusion of length. Um, I don't have any length, but you know, I have plenty of width. So I'm trying to reduce that with makeup. So um, yeah, that's that side. Um, it does look quite patchy on camera, but in my mirror, it looks really seamless. So I'm gonna go with the mirror. Try not, another thing, try not to move your face. You know when we go like this, 
you know, you go like that. There's no point going like that because when you put your face back, you put your powder in the wrong place. So try and keep your face as you, as you would be during the day, you know. Um, there's no point. You have to put it on the areas you want to put it on and they're only visible when your face is kind of stationary. So going a bit hard, that thing's <laughs> squashing the brush. Right, okay. Again, a bit on my chin. Habit. And a little bit on my nose. <laughs> Who loves and doesn't love a rosy nose? Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's my blush, all done. So after that, I will typically put on a little bit of highlighter. Now, I'm really, really careful with this because I have to put it in a certain place and obviously I'll get really greasy. So um, this is what I use. It's a Bare Minerals, it's a little pat set. Sorry, the dogs are going wild again. And it's got a blusher. It's, it's very, it's a very shiny blusher. So I don't, uh, no, sorry, a bronzer, very sparkly, glimmery bronzer, which I don't use. But it's got these two colours inside of it, and one of them is kind of like a. Let me show you. This, this one here, is more of a rosy tone, and I think it highlights quite nicely. Um, and I'm just going to put it here, literally just here, and it makes my skin. I think it just comes a little bit alive. Now. If I come a bit closer, you know, there's texture. There's no way around having texture. I'm 51 <laughs> um, and it's there and there's no point trying to hide it. But I think um, because I have got powder on my face, it makes my skin look a bit more alive again because I have been aware that I've gone out with quite a bit of powder on and I just look like a bit of cardboard. So um, I'm really, really lightly tapping it on there. Really, really lightly. Of course, we're gonna do the nose because I can't help it. But again, you know, it's not, uh, it's not, gleaming from the moon and it, I think it you know just puts a bit of healthy glow I will sometimes put a little bit up here you know it's probably nothing here on my brush really if I'm perfectly honest so that's it I don't go up my nose I don't do the chin because that's going to be super super shiny in a minute I'm going to create my own highlight so that's that that's that done um and then what do we do next right I'm going to do my my coal liner you know the controversial look at the size of that pencil disgraceful this is i've had the most questions about what this is this is um rimmel i'm going to show you now i've got one that's relatively new i don't know if you can see that it's rimmel scandalize and i use this in my waterline bottom and top and i love it um it still doesn't stay in all day because i have very watery eyes but i absolutely love it and it's really really black so um I'm going to put this in, but I'm not going to do it massively dark because obviously we're doing a day look. I should use brown really, but now I've said all of this, I'm going to do the black one. <laughs> um, I just pull my, you know, pull, it's coming a bit closer now. I'm going to do this eye work. I'm just going to pull that down like that. And I'm going to go up. Just making sure you guys can see my arms in the way like that and I'm going to do this side lift that up go along and now I'm going to blend uh, this was the, another one of the real techniques little smudge whoa a little critter hanging on the end I don't know what that is sorry <laughs> okay just not tugging on my eye but I'm putting it and I'm just blending to make sure I'm going to show you the difference now actually one looks a lot softer than the other and we're looking for softness we don't really want harshness and it's just, I'm just massaging it realistically massaging it into the lash line that's it I don't massage the top bit but that's black in there fall up. okay so you know again there's lots of controversy about whether if you've got small eyes or old eyes or whatever it is about whether you should wear um, liner inside your eyes but I do because I like it and I think it makes my eyes look darker my eyes are actually um, a light brown kind of you know they look much darker when I've got a full face of makeup on but they are quite they're not as dark as they probably appear in the some of the sunlight they look they can look a bit green okay so um 
Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay, so uh, I've been away and done my eyebrows um, and I'm back. Let's do the rest. I'm gonna do the natural um, peachy look that I had on Instagram yesterday that went down really well. I'm really, 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 really trying to do more everyday looks for you guys. Um, I'm really, really, you know, feel like I just need to take the dark browns out of my palette so I can't use them. So I, dug, I bought this palette from my mum uh, at Christmas last year I think and um, she didn't get on with it so it's a uh, it's again it's a BH Cosmetics hanging in Hawaii palette and um, it's got some quite peachy colours um, so we're going to do a look with these today and hopefully I'll compare it back and make it look as natural as possible I might have a little bit of shimmer um, I'll put some I'll do I remember to do the mascara shots this time without not pressing record um, and hopefully we can make it look a bit more um, wearable for everybody on a, on a daily basis. So I'll go through and do some other eye looks. I can't wait to do green. I absolutely love green eyeshadow and I haven't done it for such a long time. So I'm going to do green and the people are asking me like what colour eyeshadow suits, which, which colour eyes, that kind of thing. So we'll just play and do you know what, I think I'm going to do some colours that don't even suit my, my eye colour or my skin tone or something like that and just it's sometimes it's probably quite good to see what doesn't work because you think you can make it work and you think you're doing something wrong but it's not that it's just it doesn't work for you so we can do all kinds of things can't we right let's see you in here we go i can't see in the monitor with my lashes as mm, my brows are straight so anyway we're just going to do this um i'm not really central am i Let me move that way a little bit i don't know Okay, so I am going to put on my primer, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original new one. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. I've done a little bit too much. Blend it out with my finger. This is really, um, it's really, really movable actually. It's not claggy at all. I tried for ages to use the MAC paint pots because everyone was like, oh, they're fantastic. And it was just like putting chalk on my eyelids. It was awful, really dry, really sticky, didn't work at all. And I persevered with it for absolutely ages. And then I just thought I didn't have to do what they tell me to do. It doesn't work. So that's on. Uh, I'm still not putting translucent powder all over my face again. Uh, all over my eyelids because it just doesn't it doesn't work for me so um where are we morphe g17 uh, listed down below and i'm going to go into try and remember what color i use now i think it's this one here sharka oh you get the picture it's one of the ones out of the palette and i'm going to put it on tap it and i'm going to Remember on these eyes, we're going to do the windscreen wipe emotions because we can. We've got, we don't need precision and we are just creating a bit more shadow. Just creating a base and I'm going all the way into the corner um, and as high to my brow bone, higher than you feel comfortable because it, well, for me, because like I said, it will drop me. You know, I'll get in the car and I'm like, Ooh, what happened? Um, yeah, here we go. So as high as you possibly can. Now, as you'll notice, I'm touching my eyebrows and I'll have to put a spoolie through them again later. So, um, but yeah, one little bit more, go a bit, a bit higher. Work, you work your way up. If you feel really uncomfortable, just work your way up. Start where you feel like your crease is and then just go up. You know, again, look how lightly I'm, I'm pressing on my skin. Really, really lightly. Because the harder you are, you know, you're just moving your skin around, so really, really lightly. So can you see I've created just a, like a wash of shaker, it's called. I did the same on the other eye. So this is, um, I guess this is a get ready with me, isn't it? Um, I never even planned to do a get ready with me. Um, I decided today that I was going to film again for you guys because I've had such an amazing um, response to my second video which I thought was an everyday look and the more I look at it I'm like it's pretty much the same as the first one so um, I'm gonna try I've you know I've realized now that I've got to do what you guys want not what I'm totally comfortable with so 
And it's actually really good because we can learn to do it all together, can't we? We can, you know, play. And I'm not going to be one of those people that just puts up th things that are great. I'm, I'm going to put up my makeup experiences because I think I, I got here because of all of the cock ups and the things I thought that would work and didn't work and that kind of thing. So it's, like it's been a journey. And um, if you're joining me at the beginning or the middle or the end of your journey, you know, we're all we're all at different levels, aren't we? And I'm sure even makeup artists are continually learning. Every time they get a new face to do or a, a new product comes out, they're just they're just trying it and you know, sucking it and see. So, okay, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Can you see? So obviously that you know it looks a bit better than it did before, but it's just like you know my eyelids are just a different colour than they were. So that was my first brush. If you remember, now I go in with the next brush, which is the Zoeva something or other. Is it the Zoeva? Mm. Elf, it's Elf something or other, listed below. Um, I'm now going to use, um, hmm. I'm going to put a bit of this pink one on there because it makes a, a bit more of a peachy colour and I'm going to just put that, no, I think that's what I did last time, but yeah. Just putting that all over, pretty much all over the top. If you can see, it's lightened it just slightly. I've done that completely wrong. <laughs> I did it the wrong way around. Never mind. We'll live with it. Uh, again, just going to put that all over the other colour. I'm go I guess I'm going just a little bit, just a little bit lower. Dogs are going to bark now. There's a van out the front. Might be Johnny come home. Okay. Now I'm going to go into. Um, Aloha, that one there. I'm going to think it might be as dark as I get, but probably not. Um, I'm going to tap this one off. Oh, oh, I forgot to put on my, my thing again. I keep doing that. It's you lot putting me off. Uh, I'm just going to put that on to catch any fallout because there is fallout again. There's fallout with most shadows, I think, these days. Um, and I'm going to put this in. Are we going to do the circle? We're going to do the circle. So the circle goes here. We're going to go round and round and round and round and round. Remember, this is where we're patting. Just to show you again, if I go like that, like the windscreen motion, all I'm doing is moving my skin and the colour's not going anywhere. So I am patting in a circle. Can't do the seven that Nisha does, unfortunately. So we're going around. I'm going to put a bit more colour on. Same one. And we're going around in a circle. About the size of a 10 pence piece, I think. And I'm coming up a little bit higher. A little bit higher than I'm for comfortable with but it will disappear again I'm going to say now when you're looking at your makeup you know if you're looking into the camera like that it's great if you're looking into the camera like that it's completely different it, you know not the camera that the mirror so when you're when you're done and you want to am I happy with my eye look I want you to look directly into the mirror not up not down not you know not sideways because both eyes are completely different we're literally looking at on, on, you know, look at your body, look at how you are, you're hunched over, how, where are where are you? Because even I get in the car in the mornings, I'm like, mm, yeah. I'm like well, you must be looking at the floor. Anyway, so there we go. As you can see, I'm, I'm probably halfway in between my eyelash line and my eyebrow. Now, everyone's lid space is different. I've had so many people saying they've got massive lid space like me, or they've got, they've got no lid space at all. You know, Wayne Goss does a really good tutorial for people with not much lid space here, and he's got quite hooded eyes. So um, so there we go, that's that done. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Dogs are gonna bark again. I've had to shut the blinds downstairs and the, the, the curtains all over the front door. So they can't see out and bark because they sit on the stairs barking because Johnny's gone out waiting for him to come home. So around in the circle, this eye is much more hooded. So I, I'm going to go a little bit higher, but I'm really bad at them remembering to do that. So can you see? Now to me, that one looks more orangey than that one. It can't be because it's the same colour. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. So I'm going to go into blend now. I probably should have done a bit more blending. This is just a Morphe blending brush. I've got that listed below. It's a Morphe M330, I think. And very, very lightly. Let me show you how I'm literally just barely touching my skin. And I want to just make sure that that's completely seamless and you can't, it doesn't look like I've just put a load of makeup on and left it. 
just going around all of the edges that I've done there we go now I'm going to do underneath my eyes with the same sort of color um, and I'm going to put a little bit of um, a, a deeper color in just just here you'll, you'll see uh, so I've got this real uh, this is the uh, uh, revolution brush tiny little brush that goes under my eyes I'm going to do the same again so we're going into sh shaker 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 sorry mouth wide open not even looking at the thing let's just do let's do one eye with makeup underneath and one eye with not makeup underneath and then we can see what you can tell me what you think which one looks best tapping that off everyone I'm thinking a lot of people think that they shouldn't but I think when you've got your mascara on and your lashes and everything else I think it makes it look so much more finished and uniform and balanced now I'm coming out here a tiny little bit Again, that's a bit controversial because everyone says you should stop here when you've got hooded eyelids, but I think it's just my eye shape. Um, I could be completely wrong. So, when I've got my mascara on, you'll see. Um, can you see, this one looks quite harsh, whereas this one looks a bit more, there's a, you know, it's just, I think it's a bit more fluid. It looks, it looks more, um, a bit more finished, if you know what I mean. Okay, same on this side. Shake up. I don't think I used this brush on my under eyes last time. Sometimes I can go a bit heavy on that. I should use a smaller one, especially with this darker colour. Okay. I'm going to blend. Blend, blend. Okay. So... Now I'm going to use this MAC 212. This is a very, very, very like pinched brush, very flat. Ooh. I'm going to put this on my uh, lash line. I'm going to use the darkest colour in here. Sorry, that one called Honolulu. You can get this from Boots. I think it was like 12 quid or something. Um, it's got a nice, nice set of colours in here. Quite a lot of fallout. Um, and I'm going to, I can't wear eyeliner. We've had that discussion in my first video. I wish I could, but I can't. So I'm going to create the effect of having a thicker lash line on this eye, and you can see the difference. So I've just tapped it into a dark colour, tapped it off because we don't want it this falling everywhere, and I'm literally going to stamp this in between my lashes as I go along. Now, obviously, your, your eyelid's going to move, but I'm stamping it into my lashes. Can you see the difference? It's better, isn't it? Do the same on the other side. Tap it off. This one's, like I said, more hooded, so I have to do a bigger area on this one. I have to do it quite a few times. Half of it's dropping down my face. There you go. Probably do it a bit more on this side actually. Okay. And I'm going to do the same in the, the, the lower la lower lash line, but I'm going to do it with this, uh, go back to the Aloha colour, just because um, I want to create a bit more of a seamless line in between the lashes and that's actually gone in my eyelid. Let's get that bit out, that's rubbish. I'm actually just going to go back in with this little stubby cold pencil because I wiped a lot of my eyeliner off with my brush. It's actually quite old and old and not so good anymore so it's not I'm just gonna go get a bit of coconut grave the old favourite from NARS and I'm gonna pull my lid down you can't see I'm sorry pull my lid down to stamp again, I'm going to stamp on the waterline. I'm trying to create 
a seamless line in between my coal liner and my eye, my bottom line. So there we are. Let's put a bit darker in. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use my e.l.f. pencil and I'm going to go in with um, Honolulu. It's a dark colour and I'm going to put it just here. And I'm lift I am lifting my eyelids up but I'm going to do it while they're down. So I'm lifting my eyelid up. I'm going to put it there. And you'll see it, it does make a difference. It's not a very dark, it's not very pigmented I mean. Can you see it gives more definition? I'm going to get a tiny, tiny bit more. Do it again. And then I'm going to blend it away. So my sister doesn't see how dark I've gone. Can you see? Because my lid is so hooded, you know, it doesn't really matter what I do here unless I use a dark something to define and disguise that crease. I have to use a little bit of dark just to give my eyelid a shape to create the illusion of the fact that I've got a crease and hide the fact that I've got no eyelid because we're super hoodies, aren't we? So the same here, another tiny bit more. I'm just patting again. I can go around and around in circles, but I'm not getting anywhere if I do. And I'm going to blend again. So, as you can see, I don't actually, I don't know if you can see, but my hooded bit is here. This area here is really naughty because when I look at the camera, it just appears again. So I'm gonna have to, I go back again and put another little bit of dark on that particular bit with my eyes open so I can see where, exactly where I'm applying the shadow. Because when I, when you look at that hooded bit there, when you open your eye, it's gone, you know, but realistically that is how my eyes are most of the day. So I'm going to go like that. And I'm putting the eyeshadow on top of the hood that was being naughty. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Because again, when you go like that, it's fine. When the fold, I don't know what happens, but when the folds all fold onto each other, you know, like a concertina, they, they the hoods appear again. So I'm doing this. I didn't do this in my other two videos, and I don't know why. So basically, I've got like a double layer of dark colour on the stubborn hoods. <coughs> Sorry, dog barking you. And I'm going to blend. This time I'm going to blend it really gently because what I don't want to do is rub it all away. But it's this is the final blend, like the final countdown. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna waft away this stuff with this Morphe fan brush listed below. This one, this is really manky, but it does the job. It's quite scratchy actually as well. Okay. At this stage, I've got so much eyeshadow on my eyeball, I get a Q-tip. Cotton bud, so we call it in England, and um, literally just wipe that wipe away. Ooh. I'm just going to spread it from one eye to the other. Great. There we go. So on this mirror here, my eyebrows look dead straight. When I look into the monitor, they're like, hello, different, different planet. Okay, so that's, that's that done. I am now going to um, put some lighter colour on... I'm quite dark in here, you'll see, I'm, I'm quite dark in here. Now, I'm not sure what massive amount of difference this makes, but I think it does make a difference. So I'm gonna just put a lighter color inside um, on this bit, I don't know what it's called, in here. Let's do it on one side so you can see. This is a MAC something or other. I haven't listed this one, but this is my putting on white. So can you see that makes the difference? This area here is lighter. Now it's not, this literally is a, um, this is from the Viseart palette. It's a flesh tone, you know, a lighter flesh. Probably the same color as the concealer. Um, and it's got like an apricot -y color base, which is supposed to cancel out blue, I think. So I'm gonna do this side. This side is darker. Um, so I tend to put just a tiny bit more on there. So I feel like it brightens up my eyes, or it brightens that area. Um, and now I'm going to put the same colour underneath my eyelids, uh, mm. eyebrows. And I want you to see that I think this gives the illusion of being lifted. And I go all the way along, 
to the end. What do you think? Do this side. So some of you have said that you prefer, in fact no one said that they wanted a shorter video of me. Everyone said that the longer the better. So I'm going, you know, this one's going to be about seven hours I think. <laughs> No, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, I'm, I guess this is what I got ready with me is, and I guess the normal people on YouTube, I've got it down to a T, I haven't, I'm, I literally was realised about an hour before I filmed that I'm going to film, so I'm not prepared, I've got no notes or nothing like that, I'm just winging it, because that's what the hell I roll. Um, okay, so that's, that's the, the finished eye look without mascara. I'm going to do my mascara, and I'm going to do it on camera. I've got this uh, shadow. These are really good for small eyes, I think. Um, and I can never get this right, so I always tend to squeeze way more. I think I'll get some of the bottom lash in there as well. You know, it's, it's in a whole car crash thing, but um, I'm trying to train them to grow really curly. My uh, daughter-in-law, she's addicted to curling her way. I think she does it 12 times a day or something like that, but hey. Right, so I've just I've just been given a notice on my camera that I've been recording for an hour. My God, that's quite long, isn't it? I know that there was a five minute break in there because the dogs were going mental, so hopefully it's not that long. I don't even know if YouTube's got a limit of how long the videos can be. So I've curled my lashes for what it's worth, made no difference at all. This is the bit I missed out of the last video where I thought I'd recorded and I hadn't. Uh, this is what I'm using at the moment, uh, instant Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara. I've got loads of Essence Mascaras. This one, where are you? That one. I was having a chat with a lady online yesterday and uh, you know, Lash, this one, I Need a Miracle. I haven't found an Essence Mascara that isn't fantastic yet. So um, these, I use this one for the top brushes, top lashes, the one that don't really exist. That's what the brush looks like but you know that's they're all different they've got they're like three quid and they are actually really really good for if you really want not to wait actually do you know what let's do let's do it let's do that this is the YSL faux sills mascara in waterproof now if you've got really straight lashes like me that stick out that way this is amazing absolutely amazing at creating or making them stand up. Um, I used to use the faux seal non-waterproof years and years ago, um, but this is great. So let, what's that? <laughs> let's um, let's see. Let me show you what this looks like. Uh, I think we're going in at the root. I'm going to do this properly. Now we're going in the root, and we're moving the wand from left to right and twirling it at the same time. I don't know if you can see that. Left to right twirling it at the same time left to right twirling it at the same time and I've just got a nice big blob there that's fine so for me with the most ridiculously small lashes I'm I'm quite happy with that <laughs> let's do the other side I'm going to dip it back in. We don't pump mascara, ladies, because if you, when you go like that, all you're doing is you're pushing air into it, which dries it out terribly. So we're just putting it back in, wiping the excess. Um, I think Wayne Goss puts it on a tissue, but I just can't do that because I feel like I'm just wiping all of that money onto my tissue. This is like 30 quid. This is for special occasions. And when I go sailing with Johnny and I can't wear fake lashes, I've only just let him see me without makeup on. And he didn't even realise today, bless him. Okay, again, in at the root, left to right, dog's barking, oh dear, it's a bit of a car crash that one, they never go right and that's probably another reason, but you can see what I mean, they literally are standing on end and it's not really because I've curled them it's because that mascara is really uplifting so that's how they look 
I'm going to do the bottom lashes for this one always there's no, there's no nothing better than this volume stylish more lash extension mascara and I use this one because the 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 um the brush is very 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 small and you can get right into the to the root and I you know my lashes are quite sparse on the bottom again so I have to go quite light handed on this I wish, I don't know, I just seem like I'm, I'm spending so much time talking about makeup and I'm not even asking you anything and I'm not talking to you about anything. Um, it's Sunday. Uh, I've just been for, oh, that's no good, is it? <laughs> I've just been for br breakfast. How am I going to do this? Wait a minute. Right, I've done that. I had to go away and do that. Um, I've just been for breakfast um, in yesterday's makeup with my lashes still on from last night because I was like, I'm a dirty, dirty girl. Excuse me. Um, yes, and Johnny's gone to see the children, and I'm doing my thing. So that is essentially now. Now, okay, this is really interesting. Now I can see, for some reason, that what well, I can't see the dark areas that I put on my lid is, have gone. Really, I can't really see that one, and I can't really see that one because when I look straight on. They look pretty much the same. I could be being completely paranoid, but I can't see them, so I'm going to put a little bit more on. Yeah. Uh, Mahalo, tap it off. Again, I think once you put your mascara on, there are, th you just, you can, you just see your makeup look a little bit differently. I'm not going to blend that in because I've used the tiny, tiny, tiniest amount, and I'm quite happy with that. So, that would be the finished look if I wasn't going to put lashes on but I'm going to put lashes on because I can and I will do my lips as well um yeah but that's essentially move that out of the way. Whoa. sorry I look quite serious right okay so I'm going to go off now and do my lashes off off here and I'm going to do a separate lash tutorial I'm, I'm everyone's like oh you know oh, you've tried to use lashes I can't use lashes well it hasn't gone right um it literally takes me I don't know 10 20 seconds in the morning to do it but um I'm, I've obviously been doing it for quite a few years now and I want to show you how to cut them because I knew I practically have to cut mine in half when I get them home from the shop um today I'm going to use Ardell Foam Mink wispies so they're kind of they go up a little bit i use them in my last video and i never i stopped using them but i actually like them more now so i've kept them for filming purposes only so i'm going to go away and do that now see you in a minute okay so i'm back um i've put my lashes on as you can see um and we're kind of there really um i'm I, i'm going to put a bit of this on this is buxom dolly um let's zoom you in i've got no lips at all and uh, that's a whole other thing, but you know, I tend to overline it just a little bit down the bottom. So yeah, that's the finished look for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, any comments, please tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you you know what you like, what you don't like, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Please, please, please. Your your feedback is incredible. I'm absolutely. Th loving the messages some people have created instagram accounts to come across and watch me on there it's so it's amazing absolutely mind-blowing that you've all done that so um back out again. yeah so I've, I've really enjoyed it again today thank you again so much um i know this is a little bit long and i do apologize but you guys said that you probably would you know there was no one saying i want a shorter video so we got a long one um and i'll be back uh soon for another one um if you like my video please do a thumb up. I think it helps the algorithm and make sure that you subscribe um, and then you can watch my next video without just having to wait for me to come and do one. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up because apparently most of my following is not online on a Monday so it definitely won't be tomorrow. But anyway, thank you. You guys are just amazing. Thank you very much.
Yeah, that will record. Okay. It's what, sorry? It's, all, it's recording onto the SD card now, yeah? yeah I don't know. It's, if you've got record, it will record. You have to, yeah, or it might be recording. Yeah, yeah. that's just a controller. Yeah. So it'd be on your SD card. Okay. Yeah. And is there plenty of space on my SD card? Don't smudge. Don't <laughs> smudge. Don't smudge what? The makeup. I haven't got any makeup on. Oh my god, can't tell, <laughs> typical Blake, right? I'm going. <laughs> I am really nervous though, I feel like I need to do it. 